I'm glad to uh, carry on now with uh, a couple of spirituals with uh, Chris and uh, this first one is a number that was recorded by the Eureka Brass Band uh, many years ago down in uh, New Orleans and uh, normally play this one on the way to, uh, to funerals and uh, if you're ever lucky enough to get to a funeral in New Orleans, and I mean if you're lucky, not the guy or the lady who's in the box, because you know, that's rather unfortunate, they don't know much about it, you know. But uh, if you're on the rest of it, you know, and you get on to a funeral or you can get in the second line, you can, you can be on there for about six, seven, eight hours, it's great fun, you know. And by the time they cut them loose down by St. Louis uh, Cemetery, then you can have a few drinks on, on your way back and everybody stops and dances around, you get people walking along the rooftops, and everybody's out generally for a good time, you know. So it's, uh, you know, let's face it, you know, you've got to enjoy yourself that time because when it's your turn, you know now about it, you know. <laughs> the one that's on Huffington Post at the moment, I don't know if you see that, is Alan Toussaint. Oh, Alan. Yeah, and that is a funeral and a half. I mean, it, it starts off as a very high-powered corporate sort of do, and then it goes into, oh, didn't he ramble? And that really takes off. Worth a look. Thank you. 